Hey, what's up everybody? I'm here with the Creality CR10 Smart. There was some issues that I was having with the monitor here. And so I have been just kind of waiting for Creality to send me the new monitor. It's here. And before I begin, uh, it's been about a month since I've last uploaded. I've been on a hiatus of sorts and also have been waiting for the monitor to come in and also some stuff that happened with the Green Goblin helmet that I'll get into in this video. And we're also gonna talk about just kind of updates about the channel as well regarding future videos, as well as a new 3D printer. So let's jump right into the Creality CR10 Smart and the monitor issues I was having and how I'm gonna go about fixing it. So I was having issues with the monitor. It was just beeping on its own. I'm gonna put in a video here so you can see what I sent over, the Cre over to uh, Creality official. And in that video, you see that it's just clicking on its own. They call it the ghost in the machine, right? Um, and so I contacted Creality and I asked for my options, what I can do. And so they went ahead and sent me um, some firmware. And so I installed that firmware. I did all the steps necessary for it. And it got worse, as you can see in this video. So at that point, uh, I was frustrated. I was actually 3D printing this piece here during that time. And it was continuing to print. Uh, the only issue was that the random clicking on that monitor was causing insane fluctuations in the temperature of the hotbed. And just because it was just putting in random numbers, it was just kind of going up and down, up and down. And I didn't want that to be an issue, so. I just stopped the print and I haven't turned it on since then. And Creality actually has sent me the new monitor. Let's open that up. All right, this is the new monitor and just the screen as well as the cables. So I haven't turned it on since then and I'm kind of curious to see if it's still gonna be beeping now. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach in the back here and turn it on and also the side here. So let's see if it's actually gonna still be beeping and, and just being weird. All right, so what I did in the past was I just shut the power off so it unexpectedly stopped, which means that it thinks it had a power outage and it's gonna resume this print. And I tried that once already and it continued to do its beeping, but I'm gonna try it again here. And see how that works. All right. I think at this point, it's just gonna heat up the nozzle and the hotbed. As you can see, it is starting to heat up. 36 going on to 37. There you go. And once that heats up, it's gonna continue to do this print. This is actually the mouthpiece and the two eyes for the Green Goblin helmet. And I'm printing this out so I have kind of a template to bend the eyes uh, and mouthpiece on so it's bent correctly onto the helmet itself. All right guys, so I don't exactly know what the problem is with the monitor, um, but the side effects are that it clicks on its own and it already did it. Went from the home screen onto the parameter setting all on its own. And also that the screen is unresponsive. That no matter what I click, it's just off. Like I'm clicking fan control and it's turning on and off, um, auto off. And something's just, just wrong with it. And something is just wrong with it. I don't really know what it is. I don't know the problem, but we're gonna go ahead and just switch it out. It looks like the hotbed and nozzle have heated up to its correct settings, but I just can't, um, I just can't risk this. So um, the only option I have 
is to just shut it down and replace the monitor and hope for the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So I just turn it off. I'm gonna take out the um, monitor here, the new one, and just go ahead and replace it. All right, so while I switch out the monitor here, I'm gonna kind of talk about what I did um, to get Creality to send me a new monitor. Um, since I already had kind of like a, a service ticket opened up, I just kind of continued that conversation. I sent them a new message with some pictures and um, videos kind of showing like the frantic clicking that was going on. In the beginning, it wasn't frantic. It was just kind of clicking. It was just kind of beeping, just beep, beep. And then, so they sent me some new firmware uh, via Google Drive. And then when I got that and installed it, I showed them the entire process. Like I kind of made some videos about it and took some pictures as well and then sent it over to them. And lo and behold, it was worse. It was beeping just, as you can see in the video, just beeping like crazy, um, just one after another. So I went ahead and I uh, messaged them again and told them what the problem was. I didn't really complain about it. Like I didn't whine about it. I just kind of said, hey guys, this is the result after the firmware update. And then they just apologized and said, we're gonna send you a new monitor. So now that I have the new monitor, I'm plugging in the cord back there again and just gonna pop this back onto the mount. I have kind of a hard time putting this back on the mount. All right, so I'm gonna turn it on again from the back and then also from here. And let's see what happens. Nothing new there. It says tips unexpected, unexpectedly stopped uh, files. So it looks like it's just gonna pick up where it left off, which is neat. All right, guys, I'm really happy to say that it just resumed printing. I'm really happy about that. This thing was printing for some time. I'm running out of filament here, but this print here, I started about two weeks ago. Not about, just, just over two weeks ago. And it's just been sitting here for two weeks. <laughs> and uh, I'm just continuing it now after receiving this new monitor and waiting over two weeks. And I'll always say that this Overture filament really smells like corn. It's really nice. So. I'm just going to go ahead and let that continue. While that's doing its thing, let's jump over to the next topic. And the next topic is this here green goblin. All right. This thing took a while to print. Um, it finished. You guys saw it being glued together in one of my previous videos. I even applied some magnets in the back there. I'm actually gonna set this camera down so you guys can get a better angle of it. All right, so here is the Green Goblin helmet in all of its glory. And really this thing is just awesome. It's just a champ. I love this design. I love the design, whoever designed this, I'm not sure, but I love the design of the Green Goblin helmet. I actually watched the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man's all over again, all three, they're so good, love them. I like them better now than I did when I first saw them. And also, I included my own custom parts. I got a really strong rare earth magnet on there. And I also added some little hooks, these little hinges where I can put uh, this corner here, these two corners, put them in there, and then let that rare earth magnet just bring it into place. So what I do is I just line that up and there's this bottom part here. As you can see, it didn't line up quite right. Bam. And that part's lined up. That part's lined up. That back helmet back ain't going anywhere. So as you guys might've noticed, I've, I haven't posted for a couple of weeks. I was on a hiatus of sorts. And just before the hiatus, a few days before the hiatus, which to me was a sign that I needed to just, you know, relax uh, before I go on my hiatus was, I was really going to town on this thing. I just finished gluing it. I was getting ready to sand it. 
so I can put the wood filler and then sand it some more and then use my spray paints. But as I went to go take a thumbnail picture of this for one of my YouTube videos, this thing fell over and cracked and some parts broke off. I had to re-glue this jaw piece. Uh, but as you can tell, there's some, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a crack there, there. There was a big crack here. I used really this, this main piece right here, um, the shiny black, because there's this uh, matte black here and a shiny black. This shiny black was a really weak filament. I didn't want to throw away, I just wanted to use. And so I used it on that part and it was weak. So I had to go and do a bunch of gluing and fixing, but there was cracks that occurred all along the mask. So that kind of bummed me out for a little while. And I said, you know what? I'm not gonna work on this for a little bit. So I took a break and now I'm back at it. Um, I did try out some sanding here. It's definitely, it's definitely a lot smoother than this part here, but um, just kind of took some, I think it was a 400 grit sandpaper and sanded it by hand. And I kind of got a glimpse of how much work it's gonna take. And it's gonna take some time. But this is continuing, uh, didn't stop on it. I definitely am ready to get this thing moving again. Uh, why are there blue? Because I ran out of filament and I had to switch to that blue that you saw me using for this piece here. So this thing's still ready to go. This thing is still, you know, gonna be finished up. You're gonna see some cool videos with this and stay tuned for the Green Goblin helmet and us finishing it up together and you seeing the journey. I got some really cool uh, parts for the eyes, some really cool neon yellow, you know, reflective green um, visors that will really be cool to put into this Green Goblin helmet. So stick around for that guy, stay tuned for that. And you guys might have heard me talk about the laser blade uh, from Lightyear. I still haven't seen Lightyear, um, but I did like the design of the laser blade. The laser blade just looks cool. I'm a big hard surface modeling guy, and I really like the design of that hard surface model. Um, it's a laser blade that's from the movie Lightyear that came out this year, and I'm just loving that piece. I finished modeling it so it can house a battery pack, also a light string that will go into the laser portion of it. And I also bought a PLA that's translucent that I can stick that light string through so that it will light up that translucent PLA real nicely. So stick around for that as well, guys. And I got some really good news here and I'm gonna bust it out right now. I'm gonna show you guys. I told you guys that eventually I'm gonna go ahead and get a very large 3D printer, the largest one I can get my hands on for the price I can afford. And here it is. I got the biggest 3D printer in this box that anybody can buy at a cheap price. And wait a second. This feels a lot smaller than I remember. Oh, something's wrong with the camera. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, I had to perform some percussion repair on this camera lens here. This is the Creality CR-10S5. 19.7 inches square. That's a really big print area. I can't wait to put it up against this Creality CR-10 Smart to see how tiny this thing is compared to the CR-10S5. Creality Official had a very limited stock of this for only US uh, buyers. Uh, I think it was seven. And it was going for about $730. And I've been saving up and I ended up getting it. This one comes with automatic bed leveling, which as you know, guys, I am a big, fan of automatic bed leveling because I don't want to have to go in with knobs and all that stuff. And I know the CR-10S5 does come with some kinks and some quirks, if you will, as my Creality CR-10 Smart did. I really wanted to get this. This is the biggest bang for your buck. This is 19.6 or seven, I forget right now, inches 
and that's huge. That's nearly two feet all around. I could print really big things and I'm a tall guy. I'm about 6'2 and having things that I can print just in one go, I'm a big fan of. Uh, for example, that Green Goblin helmet, I had to print it out in several pieces. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing on this pretty soon. I'm really happy about this, I'm really excited. I'm not sure if it's going to fit on my table here, my workbench. I really hope it will, but I'm not sure if it will. So I'm going to have to figure stuff out, but stay tuned. I got this really cool, big, really big 3D printer. We're going to print some really cool stuff on this thing. Perhaps even print the Lightyear laser blade in one piece. We'll see if we can get that to happen and go from there. All right, guys, this was my video on the Creality CR10 Smart and how I replaced the monitor that was beeping on its own. We got the Green Goblin slated for some videos so we can take it through to completion. We also got the Lightyear laser blade on the way and an unboxing video, setup video of the Creality CR10 S5. All right, guys, make sure to click that like button if you like this video. Subscribe to see more content like this. And please share this video with people you think that might like it. It would mean a whole lot. And if you guys want to be reminded of the content, just click that notification bell after you click subscribe. All right, guys. Well, until next time, thank you for watching. Peace, love, and joy.